Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the third episode. This time, we're cooking up another beat. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Also, if you'd like me to do like a full, like uncut version, so you might get a little bit more insight on how the beats are made or my thought process behind it, leave a comment below and maybe I might do those. It usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour to make one of these. So if, you, if you're open to the long form version, comment and I'll make one. Not 100% sure what we're gonna make, but that's the beauty of this is, I do know one thing. I wanna use Native Instruments Cloud Supply and see what kind of hip hop track we can come up with. Instruments has a BST that's pretty good for hip hop. Let's duplicate that. Let's try a little bass lines. drums in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break out the machine. Pitch it down a little bit. Okay, that. Let's go back in the machine. What else we got in here? drums in here. Now, those of you who have the machine, will pro or, or those of you who don't have the machines probably wondering why I don't drum here. Um, you can, but then I have to record everything into the machine and then bounce it back out. Um, another good part about using the keys on machine is you can transpose. And if you want something a little punchier, instead of just tweaking knobs, you can just easily just go down. Keys. some hi-hats now I haven't had I've had the Ableton push for a little under a week and this thing has been amazing 
the hi-hats, the roll, the repeat features, the triplets, everything in here, extremely easy to put hi-hats in here. I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna do is open our drum rack. If you ever wonder why I always, if you ever watch, I always drop it on C sharp is because I never had a drum machine for the longest time. So I always use this one right here. It's not as much like the, the OGs, they know what I'm talking about using this. They don't have to do it anymore. It's just a form of habit. So we're going to hit accent. And with accent, it's going to keep the velocity the same. I'm going to hit repeat. And we're going to offset it and we'll go a little bit faster. that was push if there's one if there's one thing that I sucked at hi-hats because you just no oh, that was a pain and then you have to go back in and draw it in Open hat. All right. Okay. Um, so Triton, earlier today, I really wanted a bending bass. <clears throat> so instead of searching forever, I just went ahead and made my own. Just some, just a little bit of bending. Take a look through Cloud Supply. Let's see what they got in here. So as Cloud Supply has. You got pads. I want something to kind of breathe. So like with the pads, it's just layer up, just, just give it a little bit more sound. Let's see what we can do with that. Still a one shot, but just layers.
let's hear it through. some timpanis. Now, this is going to take me a minute to find some timpanis because I've not used any in a while, so I'm not sure where any good ones. Ooh. I like that. All right, pause. I just want to leave it as a one shot because it's got so much to it. Take it, we'll duplicate it. To do organize everything. So control. So now we got everything labeled. We're going to take a listen. Change up that bass line. Soften it up just a little bit. Yeah, my bad, I didn't do a whole lot of talking at the end of that one. So basically what I, what I was doing is in this, well, I guess to explain the method to the madness is on this first section up top is gonna be more like a hook. The second section is gonna be more for like a verse. And then sometimes on the third one, I like to create a bridge. Um, not a whole lot of time to make the bridge, but Let's just take a listen through. So maybe with the change up the kicks. Switch up the drums just a little bit, the hats. I think 
that's it for the night. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe.